Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, Varmithrax here! More Cataclysm Dark Days ahead, yay! It's time, more Skater Girl! We've got a pretty good run going, it's been really, really up and down, a lot of, uh, oh my god, we're gonna die, and I uh, can't believe we got away from that, and uh, holy crap, what's that, and what are we gonna do now? So it's been quite the adventure so far, hopefully we can keep this Roller Girl alive, we're up to Skater Girl number 4, and uh, we are in the best position we've been in yet. Um, this time, this particular episode, we might spend a little bit of time doing that old boring, let's grind up some skills and get some <laughs> actual real work done instead of just uh, running around. So let me do a brief recap, as always, when I start a new live stream. For anybody new to my live streams, you can use the chat commands challenge. That would be the exclamation point with the word challenge. That'll give you an overview of what the current challenge is. This is the Skater Girl Challenge, where I play as a young woman named Skater Girl whose twin obsessions are speed and beauty. Using the Miss Scenario and Skater Boy profession, Vorm attempts to become a post-threshold elf A mutant with the glorious trait, who is never allowed to voluntarily remove the rollerblades. Uh, if she's ever without wheels, she must wear leg sprints to simulate her mental physical issues until she gets new ones. So that's the challenge. You can also use settings to see what world settings I have chosen to use for this particular challenge. And finally, the mod list for the list of mods I'm running. That way, if you ever want to attempt one of these challenges yourself, you can feel free to copy those settings and go for it. All right, so as always, I try to take some kind of big negative with my challenge to kind of work around or have to deal with. This time, it is the imperceptive healer trait. I'm a pretty big fan of this trait. Um, I like the difficulty factor it adds and the change it makes to the healing process. That combined with the actual experimental release update changes to healing is making this pretty rough in, in spots. Uh, if you don't know, the Imperceptive Healer means that when you sleep, you only gain 10% of the normal amount you would receive from sleeping for healing. So it makes it a trickle effect for trying to heal up any kind of damage that you take. You can't go to bed at half damage on all your body parts and wake up after eight hours magically fully healed and ready to go again. Uh, I'll be lucky if I get half or a full bar of healing out of a full night's sleep. So I really, really have to rely on bandages, disinfectant, and my first aid skill to uh, improve as fast as possible to increase my healing amount. Any kind of little damage here and there is really, really hard to get rid of, so I have to be careful about that. Uh, in addition to that, we've got Fast Metabolism, Heavy Sleeper, and Truth Teller as our negative traits. And on the positive side, she is all about speed, speed, speed. So she's fleet-footed, indefatigable, she's got quick, and she now has a rat tail, which is the only mutation we've retained after a couple of really bad mutation attempts. Really bad. I mean, holy crap, the game hates me kind of bad. <laughs> so... We managed to get out of those with some purification down to just the rat tail. It was actually a kind of a benefit currently. It improves my dodge ability some. And uh, I can't wear some hard type clothing, but that's fine. I don't really have any to use at the moment. So we might eventually have to purge it out. But uh, right, for right now, it's our only mutation and it's actually giving us a benefit. So that's it for the traits. You can see our skills. Uh, we're at 3.1 out of our 5 dodge. That's because of the encumbrance that we're currently wearing. You can see up here what our encumbrance values are. Um, so to be at 3.1, considering just what I'm wearing right now is actually pretty good. Um, you'll see why. So yeah, safe auto docs only on temporarily until they get things kind of straightened out and smoothed out. I just really don't like <laughs> the problems that... Uh, the bionics are causing and the safe dock setup is causing. That needs a little bit more tweaking, I believe. Um, especially in combination with any of the bionic starts, like the broken cyborg and the bionic monsters. Uh, it's just making those things damn near impossible, given the current setup. So I do have safe auto dock turned on for this one. Um, but you can see our skills. We've done a little bit of skilling up. we got a cooking up to five. That's super important because we're on a heavy mutation style run for this attempt. So we need to get our cooking up. And we do have books that will get us all the way up to ten. So if I can actually get enough food and uh, be safe in one place for a little bit, we can push our cooking skill all the way up to ten just via, via reading books. And that will then enable us to cook up any kind of mutations that we need. Uh, driving I could care less about. First aid's up to four, and I believe we can push it up to six, which is what I want to do. Uh, melee and piercing weapons are rising on their own the hard way, the old-fashioned way, and we've done just a tiny bit of tailoring, survival, and so on. So you can kind of see the status there. 
All right, so that's that end of it. Here's what we're wearing and what our equipment is. We have a medieval mace as our current primary weapon. I have a backup for a combat knife if I need to go piercing damage. Both of these are fairly fast to use, and the mace with its crushing damage is really, really good for a number of different situations. Uh, so we're going to roll with that. And in particular, on our body, here's the real good things. We managed to find full-fitted chainmail armor in the mansion that we just located toward the end of the last episode. So we've got chainmail armor and a Kevlar vest to go with an army helmet. Those four items are just really, really good for protecting our head and torso and arms and legs to a secondary degree. But that is enough protection that we are almost immune to most normal zombie damage. I could just stand there and let them wail on me, and most of them wouldn't even be able to do a single point of damage to me, barring the occasional lucky hit might leak a point through. Uh, so that is super awesome. I always try to get to that point as quick as possible, and we've managed to do it without having to go down the fabrication, build us a uh, survivor suit line just with those items. So that's going to save me some time and effort. Um, I may eventually switch out to the survivor gear anyway for the additional benefits that those provide, but for now we're armored up and not losing a tremendous amount of combat capability. So the other items are fairly standard. We've got a rucksack on. Uh, We've got our holster with a pistol, canteen, that's really about it of note. Um, we do have a pretty good set of gear, and we have just recently, bring the map back up here, here's our map situation. So we started down here in uh, Swan's Island, and it was just bad from the get-go. Bad, 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 nasty bad. Kind of amusing if you really like to see Vorm suffer. <laughs> if you want to see Vorm suffer and get a bit grumpy, watch the first episode in this current playthrough. And uh, yeah, <laughs> it was just horrible. In particular, when we get strong enough, I'm going to make a return to this area, try to track down a missile silo, and I'm going to nuke this section right here. That section right there was just so much nonsense. So much pain, uh, I just want to nuke that entire area, just to wipe it off the map. So at some point, we're probably going to go back there so I can get that accomplished. Uh, but we escaped from there barely, rolled down along the road. There was a roadblock here, so we didn't get to see what was over here. This is more recent. We rolled north, rolled north, rolled north. Lo and behold, a lab, a lab, and a lab. <laughs> we managed to get hold of a howitzer, which is our current vehicle of choice, a uh, self-propelled howitzer. And we use the howitzer as a door opener. So we use the howitzer to blow open the front door of the labs and then use the uh, machine gun on the howitzer to kill the sentry turrets that were inside the corridors. And that opened up all three of those labs for us. We had an ice lab and two standard labs. Ice lab, we did the first floor. We've done all of this one and we've been all the way to the bottom of this one. The only thing we haven't done in these two really is get the barracks and containment areas because we couldn't get in as well as the treasure room at the very bottom. So I just wasn't quite prepared to deal with the sentry bots. Uh, we kept rolling north, and we found a mine, a mine, and a mansion. So that mine we're done with. We made it to the bottom, and we ran away really, really fast. Again, go watch the previous episode if you'd like to know why. Uh, we just kind of peeked in the mansion, rolled through the first floor, grabbed a bunch of stuff, including that medieval gear, and we haven't been to the basement or the second floor yet, and we weren't prepared to go into that mansion or that mine, so we left that alone. We did scout south, and even better news, we found two sugar houses, which is awesome. I'm thinking of making this one right here my semi-permanent base. And we found a necropolis. Yes, that is the necropolis. <laughs> if you're not familiar with it, well, I'm not going to go in there. So, <laughs> too bad. That is an adventure for another day. Uh, Drunk Mutant Master I went into the necropolis with uh, that series, and I haven't done it in any of my other series. I'm about to do it in the tutorial series. Uh, but I don't plan on doing it in this series. No benefit to me going trying to go in there. So not likely you'll see me actually go anywhere near that thing. Uh, but we do have a route right down through here. We've got water, swamp, and then we've got parts unknown we can travel to. And I'm sure this road connects right there. That's kind of it. So a bit of a long introduction, but that gets everybody kind of caught up on where we're at right now. If you missed any of the previous episodes, take a quick drink of water and I'll continue. Uh, the Necropolis never has a name, never has in the past anyway. So the way you know you found the Necropolis is it's square, you don't have a nameplate, and anywhere time you get near it you'll see irradiated wanderers. So 
You definitely don't have a name on your necropolis. If it's got a name, it's because it's wedged up close to a city, just like these are close, but I've seen it actually wedged directly adjacent to a city, so it looked like it was part of another city, but uh, it's a separate thing. It's not, at, uh, not its own thing, and it doesn't have a nameplate. Okay, so there we are. Uh, so here we are sitting outside the lab that we're currently in, and I have to make some decisions on just how I want to proceed. We've got some food. We went out and did some hunting American style. We used our self-propelled howitzer to go bear hunting and uh, <laughs> had a good old time. We did bag us a bear and got it chopped up. So I've got some meat, but I've got kind of a hodgepodge of stuff right here. It's not the best place to be doing any of this and I'd like to get moved. My first thought was to move up to the mansion, but it's a long ways from anything else I want to do and I've already cleared the first floor and I can't think of a good reason to stay up there. So I'm thinking of going up on one final trip, make sure I grab whatever else I might want from the basement and the second floor, call it cleared and then leave, go finish the mine, then come back to my lab, relocate everything down to the sugar house and get set up down here. Uh, this has got the benefit of being within rollerblade distance of uh, Swans Island, if I'd like to go back that direction, or I can explore down this way. Um, yeah, because I think I can get a large part of what I need done here in pretty short order. Um, the big problem I have with completing my stated goals for the challenge is I have to find a particular book that's got the Elfe mutagens listed. Uh, that's the standpipe maintenance log. There's actually two different standpipe maintenance logs. I've got two copies of the one I don't need. Um, those don't provide the particular recipe. So I'm kind of put out that we've gone and fully cleared two labs, and I've only been able to clear one floor of the ice lab. But uh, yeah, I'm not going back in there anytime soon. Um, so I'm going to have to find another lab, or multiple more labs, in order to uh, try to track down the uh, standpipe maintenance log. Otherwise, I'm not going to have much luck mutating. Unfortunately, my starting traits have got me tied kind of into the rat line. Um, so each time I've tried to mutate, it's given me a lot of rat mutations, and I don't want to pursue that line. So I really need to focus on the LFA mutagens and serums, not just take random mutations. So I'm kind of stuck with mutating until I get a hold of that thing. So what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Uh, let's catch up with chat here. Say hi to everybody. Hey there, Sons of Sigmar, Wiv, Shiva, Rohadnus. Welcome back, everybody. Um. <laughs> yeah, Skater Girl's not wearing pants. The chainmail apparently doesn't have a uh, graphic for the legs. <laughs> the chainmail does cover the legs. Um. Yeah, I've got everything I need, uh, Sons of Sigmar, for the, what I need for the mutations, except for the Elfe cookbook. i got to get that recipe and get some more cooking experience, but I've got enough books to get myself to level 10 just by reading. So if, as long as I've got a quiet area and I can keep getting food, I could read myself to level 10 cooking. I've already got a chemistry station that I can use to cook up the, uh, the brew with, so just missing that one uh, recipe book. Yeah, the problem. <laughs> I like the idea, and I've already considered that. I talked about it last episode with with uh, scouting north of the mansion area, and I'm probably going to do it for at least a short distance. Um, but anytime I tend to go scouting, I, I tend to go scouting, and then more scouting, and what, what's over the next ridge, and what's around that next forest, and what, what's down at the end of this particular road, and it just seems to never end. <laughs> so with an infinitely generated world ahead of you, uh, I tend to just keep scouting. So... We'll see. Really, I just need to settle down. I was in such panic uh, survival mode, almost dying of dehydration and uh, malnutrition for a while, that now I've got things fairly well settled and I've got a good amount of supplies and books. I really just need to settle down and get some reading done. So, I don't have a welder. I don't have any of the metalworking stuff other than I think maybe an odd tool. Um, <laughs> I'm not traveling in the woods, period, ever. I'm on rollerblades. <laughs> even on a bike, I'm not even going to try it. So, rollerblades means that I've got to be super cautious anytime I travel away from a road. Because um, if I get stuck out in the middle of somewhere in this rough ground on rollerblades, I'm pretty much going to get swarmed and have no way of getting away from things. 
So I gotta be really cautious about that. Her main defense is her speed and her ability to get away from things. Um, so we'll see. But like I said, right now I'm, I'm in decision mode. Do I relocate everything or do I go ahead and uh, do a run? From memory, I think I've got everything unloaded from the vehicles. So the ambulance is empty except for my sleeping stuff. And the self-propelled howitzer should be empty except for gun stuff. And yeah, this, this odd uh, backup clothing. Actually, no, we got a few items here. We'll grab the batteries, bone, and feathers. Alright, so, oops, and shotgun ammo. Alright, I may just have to reload everything, so I'm not going to grab all the stuff I'm not going to use right now. Alright, um, and there we go. And I'm down to 53 rounds in my super, super useful battle rifle. Without the ability to get into the barracks, um, I wasn't able to re-up my ammo supply. So that's another really, really big critical item. I need to get a, uh, I need to get a ice bleh, pickaxe or a jackhammer so I can get through the uh, walls and the labs. If I can get one of those, I can go back and clear out half a dozen barracks and uh, containment facilities for weapons, ammo, and medical supplies. Um, because I've already cleared the floors for the most part, so... <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 Sons of Sigmar. I've, I've, I think I've learned my lesson. I think I've learned my lesson regarding acid ants. They're, they're bastards, they, they need to die or be, be nerfed or left alone, and I'm gonna treat acid ants like I treat uh, fungal towers. Just, just drive away. Doesn't matter what's near them, just drive away. <laughs> All right. Um, let me take care of my hunger, thirst, and verify a few things real quick, and then we'll kind of move from there. So, let's reset that to meat. Uh, all I've got is meat jerky here. All right, I'm confused. Didn't I bring a bear back recently? Am I out of jerky? Am I, mem am I remembering wrong? <laughs> I can't... How long has it been since I went on that bear hunt? I know I brought back a bunch of other stuff to eat, so meat jerky. Yeah, there's the fat and the cracklings. Or... What's going on? What's in my quick to eat pile? Just the meat jerky and the water. Let's grab that stuff out of there. Um, no oh, foods, drinks, oatmeal, toastums, chunks of fat, my wild vegetables went rotten, I'd rather not eat all these cracklings because it's gonna, it's bad for your health stat, but I might need to, um, lots of lard, I must be misremembering the timing. I could have sworn, though, that I had just come back with a bunch of meat after the last trip. Hmm. All right, lots of random stuff. 18 anesthetic kits, and we do have access to an, uh, to an auto dock in the lab, but, uh, I can't install or I don't want to install anything right yet because I don't have any power generation CBMs. So there's no point. I guess we're just going to let's go ahead and have some cracklings. I'd rather not, but I got too many. I don't want to waste them for now. Let's have a fruit pancake. Oh that's right. We we hit the IHOP, both of the sugar houses, or we hit one of the sugar houses, grabbed a bunch of pancakes and stuff. I think that's what I was planning on eating for a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right, so full and slaked. Um, we can't spend a lot of time here because most of the food I've got is temporary. 
So I don't think I'm going to settle down quite yet. I think I should make the trip. Let's get the north stuff done. Uh, finish the mansion and the mine. Then roll back with whatever other materials I grab. Then we can make our final move down to the sugar house. Get set up down there. Um, water won't be a problem. I can scavenge the local forest for... Uh, Herbs and other food supplies um, puts us in shooting range of the city. Yeah, let's do that. I'd rather start out that way, and then we'll uh, we'll do the big move and do the rest of the uh, infrastructure stuff after. All right, so battle rifle and mace are with me. I'm in my gear that I need for fighting. I think. Got an extra backpack in there. Just grab a few food items and we'll take off. Go ahead and grab the uh, jug of water. Pancakes and waffles. I shouldn't need much. I'll find more in the uh, the mansion anyway. So that's all I think I'm going to take. That's right. My torso is all messed up. I can't remember when my sleep cycle is going to be either. Uh, it's almost uh, 4.30. Now we can't go anywhere right now anyway. So we're going to end up spending the day here. Alright. So let's get some reading done. Uh, what's up next? Keep pushing first aid or pick up mechanics or electronics. Um, yeah, I'm not going to work on uh, any welding or vehicle stuff until I get my mechanic skill up. I'm sitting at zero mechanics currently. So we'll, we'll get to that point, but uh, not right at the moment. Um, the benefit primarily is just uh, proximity. Um, the sugar house has got better facilities. It's got uh, a full kitchen that I can use. It's got uh, a bunch of uh, steel drums that I can roll outside and pop funnels onto to collect rainwater in large quantities. Um, it's just got a lot of benefits to being down there instead of up north. I'll, I'll roll the howitzer down the road here and we'll eliminate the roadblock. And uh, then I can rollerblade or take the howitzer down to the hospital or into town. So it's mostly a proximity thing. Plus the features of the building. There are multiple fireplaces and wood stoves and a huge amount of liquid storage. And uh, it's just closer to the various places that I know that I'm going to want to travel to here in the near term. So I'd rather get set up down there and uh, take advantage of the facilities. Um, so let's do some reading. Let's get... Uh, I'm going to keep pushing first aid. I really, really want to get that first aid to six. I'm always amused by this kind of a list. <laughs> we have so many. We got. I think we have every single high-end uh, mutation book except for the one I wanted. We got medical. We got alpha. Uh, what was the other ones? Uh, they don't list here, but uh, we got all the high-end ones except for the alpha that we need. So we're gonna push this one. Uh, focus kind of sucks right now, and I went and got myself full. Do I have? I forget. Did I ever grab a musical instrument? Tools, tools, tools. Um, I think I've passed by the couple of musical instruments. Yeah, no musical instrument. All right. How about my MP3 player? Do I still have that? Don't have an MP3 player either. Hmm. Not sure where that wandered off to. I was pretty sure I had one of those. Um, the first aid skill. 
Uh, primarily it improves the ability, so higher levels allow better use of medicines and items like bandages. Uh, this is out of date, it shouldn't list first aid kits anymore. Uh, it should say like bandages and disinfectant, and then reduce the failure and complication rates. Um, so yeah, I've got it to four. When I get it to six, I know it at least doubles the effectiveness of the healing of the bandages and disinfectant. So, uh, not much in the way of recreational books. Uh, I didn't really grab any that provide fun. I've got boxing monthly for plus one. Oh yeah, there's Chimera. So we've got uh, the Chimera book and the shotgun book. Let's go ahead and get those evaluated. So there's our list. I'm going to go ahead and keep pushing the first aid book. That's the thing I'm most concerned about is getting my health up. We took a few unfortunate torso shots in the lab that we just tried to finish clearing due to stupid broken line of sight light dark rules and those sentry bots. Not really happy about those things right now. So we're just going to read anyway. Nighttime. Oof, look at that time fly. Daytime. <laughs> we made it to level 5. Alright, now we're tired. We're going to go ahead and uh, drop that. Eat some of our food. Pancakes and waffles for everybody. And some oatmeal. Some meat jerky. Oh man, I'm going to burn through this light food so quick. Yeah, I just don't have the uh, food preservation set up yet. I really, it's the other reason I want to get down south. I'm much more inclined to set up a charcoal kiln down here and uh, get the smoke rack put up so I can uh, preserve meat and not have to deal with do so much uh, hunting. Alright, so we got another level. I got one more level to go and we're all done with medical. Um, so we drop that back to full and slaked. We need to go take a nap now. How's our... we still got head and torso bandaged and ready to go. Let's wear our blindfold. Take off our blindfold. Alright, uh, yeah, we got the doors all closed. Wear the blindfold and off to sleep. And for... I've got level 5 first aid now with... Uh, Disinfectant and bandages on, and watch how much healing I get from a full night's sleep. Assuming I get to sleep without getting interrupted. <laughs> that's it! Gotta love Imperceptive Healer. Ugh, God, that's so different than the normal game. So, hopefully that gives you a good idea of why I am so paranoid about taking even small amounts of damage. Full night's sleep with bandages and disinfectant, and I got, what, one quarter of one bar? <laughs> that is pretty damn awful. And still got the healing effect going on. Hey there, zombie! Where the hell did you guys wander in from? Um... Let's go run mode. Alright, let's lead him back this way. Don't bang on my vehicle, please. More zombies coming! I was just quietly sleeping in my ambulance and now I've got a herd of zombies coming at me. Thought I saw... Where are you at, Grabber? Oh, uh, yeah, where are you at, Grabber Zombie? Alright, still a ways over there. Alright, I can be a little more cavalier about these low-level ones, because like I said, I'm uh, it's somewhat new to me having the uh, extra protection, so I'm going to be a little hesitant until I get back into the swing of things, literally. Candy cigarettes. Alright, nothing useful there. Where'd you go, other zombies? Swimmer zombie and a grabber zombie. Can you guys see me from there? Swimmer zombie can, grabber zombie cannot... All right, come on, you. 
Come on, don't make me come out onto the grass. Alright. Do, do, do. Alright, let's just stay in there and hammer away. Doing good damage. Come on, you. Really test this theory I have that I'm relatively immune to low level zombies. Every once in a while, they're going to slip something through, or it'll get by the 5% protection of some of my uh, pieces of armor. Alright, that's every direction I care to check. If there's anything else out here, I'm not going to go looking for it. Just want to make sure my local area is clear. Alright, so we're going to get hungry again, of course. Um, have some more pancakes. Alright, and we managed to sleep most of the day away again. <laughs> I got the wrong day-night cycle right now. How to do this. I do not want to drive in the dark with something as unwieldy as the uh, self-propelled howitzer. So, uh, it's not power armor necessarily. It's the RM-13 combat armor. A little different than power armor. I still want it. <laughs> And I hope to go get it, but uh, right now, I'm just not prepared to try to go down and deal with the uh, sentry bots. I had this protection on, and they punched right through it, even from, like, shooting me from 20 spaces away. So, I am not ready for that. Uh, cursed, I can't tell for sure, but the health stat should be fine. I didn't start with negative bionics that were draining it or anything like that, and I've been taking my vitamins and my calcium tabs and been eating fairly a balanced diet. Um, so I don't think it's too bad. I can't say for sure, though, because I don't have the uh, trait that lets me see it directly. I didn't remember to look at the stat when I woke up to see what my status was. Um, so what am I going to do here? More reading? Or... I could probably roll up to the mansion. Explore it. Hmm... Oh, that power armor. Yeah, you're correct. The scavenged power armor. Yeah, but uh, it's not not useful without the helmet. Um, I mean, the, the armor main body part is great, but uh, it's not much point to using it without the helmet. You can't activate it, you're not going to get your head protection, and uh, you don't get all the sealed up environmental protections and such. So, if I find a helmet, then I'll think about going back and grab it. Yeah, it's not. I'm not worried about clearing the mansion. I don't even care if I kill things. I'll just skate right by things generally and just grab what I want. Um, it's just the time factor and trying to time the day cycle. Um, we slept the day away again, so I need to flip my day-night cycle again um, back off of what I've got it on currently. So I'm just trying to decide, do I have the time to go where I want? 1646, 446... Ideally, I'd like to drive up to the mine, clear it, roll out, and relocate the howitzer to the mansion before night falls. Then spend the night in the mansion if I need to, and uh, then roll out in the howitzer the next day and get it all done. So maybe that's what I'll do. Uh, I've got one waffle left. Let's grab the meat jerky. And I think we'll just take off from there. Alright, so we'll just leave all the food items here. I think we're good to go. Carry capacity, I'm at 10 out of 20, 11 out of 20 with the battle rifle. Oh, I, I that's right, I got that thing. I got a strap on it now. Screws up my torso encumbrance a bit, but uh, I can get it out of my carry capacity, so 8 out of 20, that's pretty good. 
All right, let's take a look at our vehicle. So we've got 18% of all of those tanks. So still got what, 30, 37, 45 liters? That'll get plenty. Let's go ahead and take off. Love the howitzer. This thing has been awesome to us. <laughs> North we go. First stop is going to be the uh, mine due north. I probably should just follow the road. I don't think I'm even going to bother turning on. Well, stop that. I should turn on the camera system. Only downside is it's running on a single engine. Two of the engines are down. So we can't really kick up the speed. 28 to 29 is the safe only speed I can use, <laughs> so it's a little slow. But it's definitely getting the job done. I'm trying to keep an eye out for any bear or moose that I might be able to opportunity kill. Hey there, turkey. Alright, guess I'm gonna kill a turkey. Did we get the full corpse? You didn't destroy it? Damage turkey corpse! Yay! Alright, I'll have to remember to uh, grab that. Alright, let's slow down, spin this thing around, and I think I'll just stop right here. Whoops, got it facing the wrong direction. I actually did want it facing the other way. Oh well. They're going to bang on my vehicle a bit while I get located, relocated here. Come here, you. <laughs> Hate hitting these things. Alright, let's go get our turkey meat. Feathers, two chunks of meat, a couple bones. We'll just drop this stuff right here. Spider, squirrel, dogs, don't care. Cream soda, nah, no soda. Alright, what do we got? Cube van, not going to be much use in the cube van, but it's got 8 liters of gas. I could have grabbed the gas for my ambulance. There's another 4 or 5 liters. That's just going to be a 2x4. Broken front wheel. Hmm. Police car. Another three liters of gas. Some battery. I'd have to get rid of the security system. Man, it's in pretty good shape. Other than the security system, I don't have the mechanic skill really to get rid of that. Wheel in the trunk. And security system is broken. Good battery because the, the engine's running. A little bit of gas. How's the engine compartment? Yeah, this is drivable. Let's turn it off. It doesn't blow any more of that gas. And then the electrical vehicle. A lot of battery. Security system's broke. Oh, this is a this is a pretty lucky find right here. Actually, I might have to do some. Good solar panel, broken, good solar panel. So we got two green, one yellow, and one totally broken solar panel, but that should be enough to constantly charge. Um, so I want to relocate this vehicle. So we're definitely going to have to make a, uh, a play for getting all these vehicles out of here. At the very least, I definitely want this relocated down to the sugar house, um, just so I can use it as a battery charger, uh, if nothing else. So... That'll definitely be one of the things I'm going to do. Let's make a note. Uh, solar car, relocate to base. All I want is the gas out of the other two. I still prefer the ambulance for a regular gas vehicle. 
Alright, so where's the entrance? Of course you put it here. Rollerblades! Leather pants, leather pants. Let's grab the leather pants, not the jeans. Alright. Um, not gonna bother going in there. I don't have the skill to pop the or hack the computer. Pry it but cannot lift. Pry it but cannot lift. Come on. There we go. We got it that time. Alright, uh, I'm gonna leave these here. Here we go. Into the mine. Long rope. We'll take that. That's awesome for breaking down to small ropes, then strings and threads. Uh, we're gonna go with the flat. Ah, I blew my flashlight bat or my flashlight battery out. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have to go in the dark until I find some battery. Much prefer to have that flashlight on. Hopefully, we come across a mining helmet or batteries pretty quick. Oh, we got a gal. Oh, this is not good. We got a gas leak right in the front. Crap. And I saw the lava. Ah, another gas leak. Yeah, this is bad. I don't have my gas mask with me. Um, this is a problem because this is going to continue to expand and fill this uh, entry area. Um, I'm a little nervous about this. So we got lava over there. Does this go anywhere? Or is it going to dead end on me? Dead ends on me. Hey, give me some batteries. Nope, earplugs. All right, we're just gonna go down. Puts us right in the middle of some rubble. Uh, I don't have my entrenching tool either. God dang it, I left everything useful behind. I didn't plan out this mine trip very well at all. I'm gonna have to clamber across rocks. Don't, don't cut me, don't cut me. <laughs> All right, anywhere to go but towards the lava? Probably not. We may get stopped by a lava flow if I have to get too close. This one I think I can skirt around without taking damage. Just barely. Ooh, look at that warmth. Just barely. Uh-oh, eh, dark worm. Another dark worm. And another dark worm. site or debris sites. Where's the body sites? Come on, man. I want my stuff. Down again. I especially want my stuff and a flashlight running here. Pretty rare that I don't come across at least uh, some flashlights or a mining helmet with some battery power. Ah, crap. No! Alright, well, we're done. This is a completely useless mine. All right, we're backing out. I'm not doing that. Anybody familiar with mines knows what that is, and I'm not going to deal with it. I didn't get a single item out of this mine. Wow. All right, this was a uh, totally useless trip. Let's try to get it out, get out of here without taking any damage. At least not. Uh, Not take any losses from the trip.
a steel chain. A pair of earplugs and a steel chain were the total loot that I could have gotten out of this. And crap, there's the gas that is spread. I don't think I'm going to be able to... Uh, can I work our way around it? Have they met yet? Oh, look at that, look at that! Can we do it? <laughs> we made it! <laughs> so close! Alright, we're out of here. So, totally useless mine for us. But we did locate the solar car, so we're definitely going to come back to get that. And motorbike battery, all right, battery I don't care about. Alright, so 645. Hopefully we got time to make it over make it over to the uh, mansion before the light goes totally away. Oh, damn it. I left the uh, camera system on again. Youch. I think I drained a pretty good amount of battery by doing that. That wasn't smart. Hey there, spider. Goodbye, spider. All right, off to the mansion. We'll do a quick uh, roll through the mansion. I'll probably try to sleep the night away. If it'll let me. I'm gonna have to find some cough syrup to uh, drink for sleep probably, because I didn't bring any with me. Again, bad planning, Vorm. All right, so off we go. I need to watch out for Two different places, a minefield here, which is off the road, and a roadblock here. Nah, usually to swap my day-night cycle, I just uh, stay awake, dead tired for however long I need to. A lot of zombies in the area. Hey there, big old pile of zombies. What you guys doing out and about? Uh, but yeah, I just stay awake until dead tired as long as I need to, then uh, sleep, and or the other alternative is to abuse cough syrup. You force yourself to sleep early so you can uh, get the timing a, a little bit better. Try not to become addicted. It's always fun to become addicted to cough syrup. Alright, there's a roadblock I don't need to kill. Nothing valuable there. Alright, coming up on the mansion. What else did I note up here? Oh yeah, that minefield right off the road. That minefield might be a problem for my trying to sleep up here. Jumping spider and the dog having fun, huh? Um, I'm just ah, zombie stood up right there. <laughs> 